هون بقت دار المختار هون بعيناها Abu Jamil Masri grew up in the small fishing village of Tentura, in what was then northern Palestine. The village, which was home to 1,500 people, no longer exists. يصير لك بطيخ بقى يكون سالي عشرين خمسة وعشرين كيلو بطيخ هذي يصير فيها. This once prosperous fishing village is now a cheap beach resort equipped with tacky igloos, and for the few remaining people alive who remember what it was once like, it's an almost unbearable sight and a reminder of everything that they've lost. In May 1948, Israeli forces known as the Haganah came to Tentura. While the events that unfolded are disputed, one thing is clear. In the course of one night, the Palestinian village of Tentura was wiped off the map. Abu Jamil and other villagers say Israeli soldiers attacked Tentura. They allege the soldiers separated the men from the women and children and then executed some of them. Abu Jamil's father and brother were among the dead. <laughs> The story of Tentura is complicated. In many ways, it's a microcosm of what Palestinians refer to as the Nekba, or catastrophe. In the immediate aftermath of the founding of Israel, more than 700,000 Palestinians fled or were expelled from their homeland. At the time, there were 64 Palestinian villages along the coast from Jaffa to Haifa, including Tentura. Today, there are only two left. Each has its own story, and some are better known than others. Teddy Katz wrote his master's thesis on what happened in Tentura. He was the first Israeli to bring attention to the village. When I understood that in Tantura, it wasn't regular. Now I can tell you that according to what I know, and I don't say that I know everything, but according to what I know, Tantura was the second place in the number of people that were died were killed. After an Israeli newspaper published some of Katz's findings, Israeli veterans who fought in Tentura sued him for libel. Katz actually renounced his thesis. Today, though, Katz is adamant that something terrible happened in the small village, and he's not alone. فكان الخوف والرعب يمنع من الناس من الحديث عن هذه الأمور. الآن بعد 60 عاما وبعد 70 عاما الآن حول 70 عاما نجحنا في إخراج هذه القصص. Every year on the anniversary of the fall of Tantura, Jihad Abu Reya and his wife Hazar organize a march. They bring together as many survivors as possible, but with each passing year, that gets harder. نحن نسمع ليس فقط نسمع الروايات مما حدث من أهلنا وإنما أيضا نعرضها كوثيقة. Abu Jamil is now 84. He's one of the few left still living near Tantura. The others, like so many Palestinians, remain refugees in Syria and elsewhere. But for Abu Jamil, each trip back is harder than the last.